City Tonight tackling the problem of homeless population at O'Hare. It comes after new pictures surfaced this week showing people sleeping in the airport overnight. WGN's Alyssa Donovan has that story. Arkel Davis is homeless, and he's been staying at O'Hare International Airport for almost a year. Like you come here, it's a safe environment. It's warm. But some of the people experiencing homelessness had started to raise concerns. Janitorial staff sharing pictures of messes made in restrooms and describing problems like urine and feces in elevators. Even some homeless people threatening staff members with violence. Alderman Ray Lopez shining a light on the issue this week. And in certain terminals, it is very much that bad where you're seeing the homeless using the the toilets to bathe themselves who are relieving themselves wherever they're at and this happens nightly two to three hundred individuals descend on the airport between the hours of 11 and 4 in the morning travelers say they had started to see an increase in the homeless people at the airport absolutely and the colder it gets no, no more people it will be mayor lori lightfoot responding to the alderman's comments on thursday saying she gave clear messages to police and the Department of Aviation to address the matter. We absolutely fundamentally cannot have people sleeping um, in our airports uh, who are homeless. That is unacceptable. But as of tonight, elsewhere has been hard for some to find. No way to go. Davis, who is a heroin addict, has struggled to get a bed in a shelter. It's difficult to find shelter even not being an addict. He says he and the others who were staying at the airport were told they had to leave. He came back tonight to panhandle for food before he goes to his new temporary housing. The train is what's been my option. Travelers feel there should be some other solution to this problem besides leaving these people to fend for themselves. They have no other place to go. Chicago should do better. The city of Chicago recently received $60 million in federal funding to be used to combat homelessness. Alderman Lopez says he would like to see some of that money used to add beds to homeless shelters so that these people have somewhere safe to go. Reporting at O'Hare Airport, Alyssa Donovan, WGN News. All right, Alyssa, thank you.